Hi, I'm Gayatri. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the Cold Spring Harbor Labs. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the mind-boggling questions most of us have, why haven't we cured cancer yet? So I started my research career not just asking this question, but also trying to find solution of how we can cure cancer. In order to understand cancer, we need to know what is a cell. So cells are the basic unit of life. So human body is made up of millions and millions of cells. Now these cells have some basic fundamental properties. All living cells will be able to duplicate themselves and make an exact same copy of oneself. This is called as cell division. Now when there is an extensive cellular damage, these cells will be able to commit suicide because duplicating a damaged cell is bad for us. Apart from this, the cells are also able to respond to external cues, be it physical, chemical, or mechanical, and they're able to act or respond accordingly. So only if there is a signal for the cell to divide, the cell divides. Now this is analogous to a condition where you give a command to a device, say a printer, and then say print, the printer prints. Now when you say stop, the printer stops printing. Just imagine a situation where you say a printer to stop printing, but the printer keeps printing a lot of stuff and just wasting your papers and cartridge and so on and so forth. So this is really bad. Now, same thing happens in cancer. So there are subset of cells which continues to divide and undergo cell division even though they're not supposed to divide. So why this uncontrolled cell division bad for us? This uncontrolled cell division is bad because it depletes nutrients. So obviously, cell division requires a lot of nutrients. And it is also bad because it is going to compromise the function of the organs. The, uh, the organ is not allowed to do the function it is supposed to do. And now the biggest problem is that over the progression of the disease, these cancer cells acquire newer properties like they will be able to migrate and enter into the bloodstreams and invade a distant organ and spread the disease. So we all know all these things are really bad. So why is it so difficult to cure cancer? Now, one thing we should understand is cancer is a complex disease. Each cancer itself is very different. A blood cancer is not the same as a skin cancer or a breast cancer. Now, even within the different types of cancer, you have multiple subtypes, like a different subtype of cancer, which means that the, each subtype has a different underlying genetic abnormality. So now this, is, this makes a treatment very difficult because one common generic treatment will not cure all types of cancer. So each subtype of cancer often requires a specific uh, treatment strategy. Now there is another big problem that I told you before is that the cancer cells, the villains are our own body cells. Now the problem is that when you have a non-specific treatment such as a chemotherapy or radiotherapy uh, radiations, they fail to distinguish between a normal cell and a cancer cell. So for them, everything looks the same, even though there are spies inside. So as we know, in an army, if there is a spy, it's going to cause the entire collapse of the army. So leaving some cancer cells untreated by this conventional chemotherapy or the radiation therapy, it's going to cause the disease to relapse and again spread the disease, which again is bad for us. So how can we overcome all these problems? Now people, our scientists across the world, they use multiple approaches to overcome all the problems that I mentioned before. I here at the Cold Spring Harbor Labs try to solve the problem or try to address the problem by using a targeted therapy. So what we do here is to try to identify molecules that are specific for cancer cells. So these molecules can be a DNA, RNA, or a protein molecule that are found only in the cancer cells and absent in the normal cells. So thereby targeting these molecules, one can try and eliminate the cancer cells specifically. So this will overcome both the problems that I told you before. One is that uh, having a specific uh, molecule for each subtypes of cancer, and also having a treatment that is targeted only towards the cancer cells, leaving the normal cells intact. Now here is one proof of principle that this strategy will work. So here we have identified a molecule that stops the cancer cells from migrating. So as I told you before, migration of the cancer cells are really a problem because they are spreading the disease. 
So here on the left hand side you have a cancer cell mass. So this is basically a mouse breast cancer cells that are moving and constantly migrating. The cells undergo rapid movement whereas here we have tried to block a particular molecule that we have identified that is involved in this migration process that is present only in the cancer cells. So here when we block that here we see that the cancer cell mass really doesn't migrate and they are sticking to each other in one place. Thereby it prevents these cells from uh, undergoing this migration and invading a distant organ. So with all these things and many, many more combinatorial approaches that scientists develop throughout the world, hopefully in few years we will be able to overcome all the problems that I told you before. And next time when I talk to you, probably I would have changed my topic to how did we cure cancer. Thank you.